Have you ever wondered why Transformers have so many different colors of Energon? Let's theorize. Welcome to Trans Series, a show where we talk about everything Transformers. I'm Jason, and today we're going to be talking about why is there so many different types of Energon colors in the Transformers movieverse? This episode is brought to you by Glitch 0 0 and Dr. 4 Now let's get down to this theory. So, there are many types of Energon in the Transformers movieverse, mainly blue, red, and green, and each of them serve a unique purpose. So, let's start out with blue Energon. And in my theory, blue Energon occurs when a Transformer has an outer penetration, like getting shot. <laughs> or stab. And also when a Transformer gets a spinal penetration. And you may think, what the hell? Is a spinal penetration. It's basically when your spinal cord gets punctured or ripped in half. Here is two unlucky sparks that this happened to. Oh, you got Megatron. Come here, little creature. You want a piece of me? You want a piece? No! I want two! As you can see, blue energon is leaking from the spinal, and a good example of outer penetration is with Brawl. As you can see, the more damage Brawl takes, his armor starts to break, and the outer energon appears. And if you're wondering why there's fire on Brawl, that is there because the wounds on him got cauterized. And if you do not know what that means, here's an example from Star Wars. <laughs> So sometimes not all the Energon leaks out, but occasionally some does. Now let's move on to Red Energon. Now what I believe is that Red Energon will appear if there is a wound to the face or joint. Of a transformer. So let's go bring in our friend Crankcase. Now he was stabbed in the face by Crowbar's weapon, and we can see that a lot of Energon spills out of his head. But this is a lot of Energon leaking out. Now I have a theory why. So in the head of a transformer, they have red Energon like we see with Sentinel Prime, and I think it's used as a fluid to cool down those parts in the head. And it's also under the head of a transformer as we can see with our friend Megatron. He got decapitated by Optimus Prime after saving his life. Congratulations, you played yourself. And there's a lot of Energon because if you remember, red Energon is at the joints and the neck is a joint. And if you see a spinal cord and wonder why there's no blue Energon is because when Optimus Prime started to pull off Megatron's head, the smoke came out and what I believe the smoke was from is a spinal cord getting cauterized. Because of Jazz and Mixmaster, they got their legs chopped off clean. And because the spinal cord snapped in Megatron's body and got cauterized, that's why we did not see any blue Energon. And in this scene, we could see another good example of outer penetration. And if you were wondering why Megatron's face has no energon at all is because Optimus's axe cauterized the damage. Now, if you take Megatron's death into consideration, it would rank very high in the Transformers Brutal Deaths list. And if you want me to do a video on the Transformers Top 10 Brutal Deaths, click the poll above. Now let's go move on to Green Energon. And here is where it screws everything up. And originally I was not going to add it is because of the retcons in Transformers The Last Night, and this was one of the major retcons in that movie. But I found a way to loosely fit it in. So I think Green Energon is the main energon of a Transformers. Transformer, and you have to damage a Transformer severely. So let's start with Megatron. And yes, this will loosely fit in. So with Megs, his arm got chopped off and he leaked green Energon instead of red. And this is because, in theory, Quintessa gave Megatron a new body after Age of Extinction. And this is proven with the red mark he has on his face, and Optimus has that exact same mark on his face. So I think the new body that Quintessa gave Megatron gave Megatron some green Energon as his main Energon. Now, for Canopy, the reason why he has green Energon and it's a bit of a stretch is because he was shot with a full-on missile to the chest, which cauterized the blue Energon and the red Energon. Now, you may wonder why did green Energon come out of Canopy's mouth? Well, this is indeed not the first time this actually happened. Let's go take a look at Dark of the Moon with our friend Ironhide. He got shot and green Energon came from his mouth. And here is why, green Energon was always around in the entirety of all the films. It only had to happen if a Transformer had an extreme wound. 
and I believe this would happen if the spark was endangered and the green energon would start to flow in a transformer. Also, when Ironhide got shot, this was an extreme wound because the spark got damaged and he was full on shot with a rust cannon. And I do not know if you guys caught this, but do you see that dirt that's building up under Ironhide? I think that's the rust and the green energon mixing to give that water-like effect. So, in this scenario, green energon only comes when you have an extreme wound that would kill you in seconds, like your spark getting damaged. And not to mention, they both had severe chest wounds. Which one was worse? Now, let's go move on to Steelbane. Now, the reason he has green energon is because he was an older Transformer. And, in theory, Quintessa made him, so he has green energon. So, it fits almost the same way as the Megatron example. Now, for our two last scenarios in Transformers The Last Night. Onslaught and Unfernicons. Now what I found interesting was for Onslaught, he has green energon when he dies, not just for the head, but also for the legs. And what I concluded was because he was a combiner leader, he will have green energon instead of any other type. Now you may wonder why does Mixmaster not have green energon? Well to clear that up in my Constructicon misconceptions video, I explained how this was a clone, and because the clones do not have the powers of the real deal to combine, he does not have green energon. But this all gets mixed up when you throw in the Infernicons. Now because the Infernicons all got killed by Prime, it's safe to say that one of them was the leader but none of them had green energon. Now, why is this? Well, to make it easy, I think Quintessa made them, like the knights. But she made him different because Infernicus came before the knights, and she was experimenting to create a combiner, and she did not think of energon yet until she perfected the combiner formula to create the knights. And before I end off this video, I want to talk more about cauterization. Now, this does not work all the time. Some energon still comes out, while no energon will come out at all. And this is one of the big inconsistencies with the whole franchise. But I I hope this video cleared up some of the confusion. And fun fact, this video took 5 rewrites to make because the other ones were more confusing and I wanted to make it more easier for guys to understand so that's why I have not been uploading for 3 whole days. Well that's all for this theory, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Trans Theories. If you have a theory you want me to cover please give a comment down below and I'll do a video on it as soon as possible. And if you have a disagreement or something I missed out on this theory, don't forget to comment that too. This has been Trans Theories, signing off. Well, your car was filled with grill Of the evil man